Today we're going to go over my 10C's micro backup kit. Uh, basically we're going to go through it, uh, talk about how each item fits into a C, and uh, show you how basically it's a very good backup to your backup in a water bottle cook set. When you take it apart initially, you'll see that there are four components. One, the rubber band that holds it together. It's normally a ranger band, however, uh, I broke one off yesterday, so it's been replaced by just a regular rubber band. Uh, some Gorilla Tape, I think there's about 30 feet in there. Uh, the actual pocket survival Altoids 10. And a plastic bag, which will give you the contents in just one second. Plastic bag mm -hmm. portion of the kit contains... A uh, small survival blanket. Uh, it's not great for shelter, however, it does work. Two water filtration tablets. Excuse me, water purification tablets. A water bag, which is 32 ounces, uh, made by Survival Resources, and just the traditional bag, plastic bag, which can be used as a backup for your container. The actual Altoids 10. You can, as you can see, is uh, has additional cargo tape, which is just basically clear medical tape. There's about uh, four or five feet on there, just to hold everything in place, and also it can be used in emergency situation. We're now going to unbox the actual survival kit and go over the contents. Once open, the micro survival kit looks as shown below. Uh, now we're actually going to divide everything up into its 10 C's categories. Uh, so you can see a little bit about how this fits into redundancy. Two is one, one is none kind of mindset. Our first C of survivability is a cutting tool. Uh, in the cutting tool aspect, I've chose several. This piece of wire for making a snare for just simple cutting of a, a small piece of wood. A high carbon steel surgical blade, which is completely sterile. That's how it's shaped. Uh, survival Resources uh, Surgical Blade with Handle uh, Another small Survival Resources Cutting Saw And a uh, Leatherman Micro With Scissors, Can Opener, Tweezers, Screwdriver, uh, Knife Blade And another uh, file which could be sharpened into a knife blade all fits into a very compact kit. Next to survivability is combustion. For this I usually just go to my fallback of a small Bic micro lighter. If that fails there's always a small magnesium block with a traditional ferro rod with its striker which could also go back to the first C and make it into a blade if needed to sharpening the edge. A uh, couple of quick tender quicks and a 4x magnifying lens. This is all in addition to the actual fire kit, which goes side by side with this pocket 10 C's kit in the Pathfinder water bottle bag. The next C is a 84 by 52 survival rescue blanket. Um, very limited on cover in this kit, obviously, you, you can't really have a whole lot with such a small kit. However, cover is the easiest to make in the wild, so I feel a little bit more comfortable going skimpy on this sea as opposed to others. I have spent the night out with just one of these as cover, and I will tell you, if it gets down below 40, you are not going to have a very fun night. Unless you have an extremely good fire and a whole lot of uh, pine lay underneath of you. Next C survivability is cover. I went all out on this C as much as I could at least. As this is the hardest to duplicate in the wild. Um, you'll see on the right is a regular 32 ounce bag made by survival resources. Uh, basically that fill line that you see on there is for your water tabs, you fill it up to that line, you put your water tab in, you seal it, roll it down, seal it, and you let it set for your prescribed amount of time, and you have clean water after you filter it, of course. Uh, I also have a regular Ziploc bag that the, the bag and the uh, survival blanket go in, the Altoids 10, and a good bit of 
uh, heavy aluminum for making an improvised container to cook in. Next to survivability is cordage. Uh, you'll notice I added both of my cargo tapes on here as well as they can both be utilized for cordage as needed. Uh, basic little leader for fishing. The rubber band which contained it. 100 foot of spider wire. And some basic twine for setting up shelters and whatnot. Next is candling device. Uh, for this you only see two in the kit. Uh, the big lighter and a small micro little flashlight. Uh, beyond these I always have a, a 220 lumen flashlight on my person. Uh, and also this is probably one of the easier items to make while you're in the woods with simply making a torch. Next is cotton. You'll see I have a nice small swath. Uh, it's tripled there. Uh, basically it's just for making char cloth, making a filter. I also have a bandana in the kit as well, which is just basically in the water bottle. Next C is a compass. I have a simple button compass here. You can't really go much larger than this on a pocket kit. Um, I have redundancies of times two in my, my full kit. However, uh, you just can't really get much larger than a button compass in a pocket kit. Next is cargo tape. I have some of the best cargo tape available in Gorilla Tape, all wrapped around a business card. Uh, you can use this for tender, you can use it for just about anything. And also a small swath of medical tape, which is used for keeping the, the entire kit together. Well, the last piece of variability, as you'll see, is actually taped to my uh, magnifying lens. Is a needle. I also have uh, multiple fish hooks, which could be improvised into a needle, if so needed. Last portion of the kit is the admin section, or things found outside the uh, 10 seas of survivability. Uh, you'll see the pocket fishing kit right here. Multiple swivels, split shots, hooks, some additional uh, fishing line, some water purification tablets. We have four of them in here. A little rad pocket detector. Basically, it's a mini dosimeter. It's good for about 10 years. Admin kits for taking notes, leaving notes, etc. With a pencil and paper and a very loud micro whistle. If you have any questions, feel, feel, please feel free to comment. Um, also, look forward to hearing your feedback. Thank you and have a great day.